you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Hey guys, that welcome back to Dwaru 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about a brand new benchmark. Today we're going to test out Metro 2033 Redux for the Nintendo Switch. That's right, today we're testing out the Yuzu emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. They're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. And this is the first time I'm booting up the game, so keep that in mind. The game is will be compiling shaders. Now, what's funny about this is... I decided to test this out because my channel basically... I basically reset my entire computer. And it has been doing numbers of work for me since I've done that. So I was really curious to see uh, another Yuzu game, how it would load and play. And so far, it's doing amazingly. It's like, holy crap. I would not have gotten this performance if I tested, if I tried this before. But it's giving me it now, and I appreciate it. Follow me. But once again, basically, what I do is I test games on the emulated games on everything here, you know. You know how it is. The whole point of my channel is to simply show you guys the progress of okay. the emulators, Yuzu, uh, Xenia, no. RPCS3, all of them. On lower end hardware, I want you guys to see that, hey, you can still run games. Mm -hmm. Like you can still run know. games on the system without having it's to work too to hard, man. Without having to have a high-end CPU. Like that light, light is somewhere in the distance, man. That light don't even make sense. That lighter, that lighter was crazy. <laughs> That's the light. Okay. But it's running really well for a game that just loaded up and there's no compiling shaders. I expect with all the the animals now. No, even with the animals, it's still playing really well. And it can uh, get uncapped from 60. We could have done 60 now. For whatever reason, you wanted to play this game on here rather than on PC. Or wherever the heck it is because it's pretty much on everything. Hey, you can. Oh, wow. My gun's in a different direction though. I won't lie to you there, there's definitely some issues with the uh, the uh, game. Yeah, my gun's all the way over there. So that's not good. Graphical issues. Okay, maybe I wouldn't recommend playing this on here. But it is running really well nonetheless. Still shocked about that. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content, guys. I really, I really appreciate it when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out on the channel. They're running with 7 gigs of RAM. That's a lot. But Yuzu normally does 7 to 8, especially with the later newest games. They will do 8 gigs of RAM, sometimes even 9. Yuzu can be quite demanding compared to PS3. We are a Xenia, Xbox 360 or PS3 emulation. It's definitely the heaviest. But most games run. We are seeing some bush issues here. I didn't even show you guys the settings. Oh crap. Basically I'm running on default though. I, I feel like I tell you that all the time. I'm basically running on default anyway. The whole point is just to show you the game running anyway. So it's running on default. I want to show you that the i7, 7 year old CPU still can do a lot. Hey, you know you hit me there. Like I said, this is the first boot at this compiling shaders beautifully. But yeah, I'm just gonna mute myself now, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you Need guys next see. time. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it?
Life was never easy in the tunnels. But it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in its...